Hey everyone, welcome back to Dave's Math Channel. I'm your host, David Tear. Um, sorry, I wasn't able to make a video yesterday. I've been kind of sick the last couple days, but I think I'm recovering now. You could probably tell from my last video, my voice didn't sound too good. I'm still not 100%, but I'm better. Anyway, today I'm going to discuss uh, an interesting question, and that's why land animals can't get too big. Um, so you're never going to see anything like this. I mean, you're never going to see a battle between Godzilla and Kong, uh, even though there's a lot of movies about stuff like that. I guess designed to scare a lot of people, but no, that's not going to happen, at least not in our lifetime, so don't worry about that. But um, in all fairness, there have been some huge, huge land animals in the past. Uh, uh, this is a known dinosaur. I think this is the largest known dinosaur. It was called a titanosaur. And these things uh, were about 37 uh, meters long. I guess that's about, what, 120 feet, something like. Huge. Uh, I mean... And they weighed about 70, uh, 70 um, tons, 70 metric tons anyway. So they were, they were almost as big as the biggest whales on Earth. I don't know how these things got so big. And this picture shows them, you know, uh, well, anyway. Uh, but then uh, it, it's also, it's possible there was an even a larger dinosaur. Uh, this hasn't been proven yet, but uh, it's suspected that this was actually the largest dinosaur that ever lived. It was called an Argentinosaur. This thing got between 37 and 40 meters long. They, they reconstructed part of the skeleton, by the way. They never found the entire skeleton of this, this dinosaur. And they, they estimate that it weighed between uh, 90 and 100 metric tons. Uh, so this thing was humongous. Uh, I'm glad I wasn't around when the dinosaurs were. Anyway... Uh, but what's the largest land animal today? It's the uh, African bush elephant. I love elephants, by the way. I was in Africa. I was on an African safari with my uncle in 2015. And uh, we saw a lot of elephants. And yeah, they're huge. But they're not dangerous. I mean, unless you're really stupid. I guess you'd get really close to them. You know, you should be in a safari, safari vehicle if you're looking at them. But they're, they're just amazing. And they're adorable. And they're not... I don't think they're hostile at all. They're they're nice, you know, big creatures, and they're very smart too. Um, and they live a long time, and they have a big, uh, they have a really good memory. They say an elephant never forgets. Uh, I've been told. Uh, I guess the reason they say that is because I think you know, um, a long time ago, people used to have elephants as pets, and if you ever abused your elephant, it would remember that for the rest of its life. So. Uh, um, anyway, but enough about elephants. I, I think they're great. But they're the largest uh, land animal today. By contrast, uh, whales. Uh, the, the 10 largest, uh, I'll get to this man later, but the, the largest uh, animal in the world is a blue whale. And these things get to be uh, up to 90 feet long. I guess it's about 27 meters. I, I prefer metric, by the way. But these things are huge. And I think they can get up to like 150 tons. I mean, they're... Um, they're probably even bigger than any of the dinosaurs were. And you might wonder, why is it possible for marine animals to get to be so big but not land animals? Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to explain all that in a minute. Here's a list, in case you guys are interested. Here's a list of the largest living land animals today. And like I said, the African bush elephant is currently the largest. And, uh, you know, they weigh about six tons on the average. And... Uh, um, you know, the, the max, yeah, the, um, and, uh, the, I guess the, the 10th largest is all, all these animals on this list, uh, weigh, uh, at least close to a ton or, so these are big, pretty huge animals. And I don't know where humans rank. I've heard that humans are, I, I heard you can list all the animals, uh, all the land animal, probably all the animals in the world that are bigger than humans on one page. So we're pretty big as far as the animals go, considering that there's, I don't know how many animal species there are in the world. I think there's something like 10 million animal species. Most of them are insects. So think about that a little bit. Most animals in the world are tiny. Most of them are insects. And as you all know, insects are very tiny. Um, so most, most animals aren't that big. We're pretty big as far as the animals go. So, but by contrast, uh, the largest living marine animals, these are actually the largest living animals because 
you know, the 10 largest marine animals, uh, the 10 largest animals blah, 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 are all marine animals. <laughs> so they're all whales. Um, and uh, you can see how much bigger these things are. I mean, their mass, like I said, the uh, blue whale is the largest animal in the world. Uh, um, their average mass is 110 tons, uh, metric tons. Uh, uh, the gray whale, that's the 10th largest on this list, that already weighs an average of about 20 tons. I mean, these things are like, you know, I said that the, the African bush elephant was six tons. So already gray whales, three times as massive as the as a, a bush elephant. And the a blue whale is what? Uh, almost 20 times as massive. So, um, so clearly marine animals can get to be a lot bigger than land animals. You wonder why, you might wonder why this is the case. Well, there's actually a very simple explanation. It's called the square cube law. So uh, the, basically the, uh, the point of this law is that um, uh, weight or mass depends, uh, I guess weight is a little more critical here. How much you weigh is proportional to the cube of your linear dimensions. I mean, just think about a cube. So if you had a, say, a, a cube of uh, water, I mean, yeah, I mean, just do water because it's simple. Uh, ice, maybe, maybe ice cube is better. So imagine you had an ice cube that was uh, one centimeter uh, on each, uh, you know, each side length was one centimeter. That would weigh exactly one gram. Uh, and then if you had an ice cube that was 10 times the linear size, 10 centimeters, then... Uh, it would weigh uh, one kilogram, a thousand times as much. And yet the surface area is only proportional to the square of its size. So, so uh, you know, each, there's, there's going to be a lot more pressure. If the, if, the, if the ice cube's just sitting on a table, there's going to be a lot more pressure due to the weight of the ice cube, uh, you know, the bigger it is. Uh, the, the, the pressure, the force it has to exert for each um, you know, unit of area is uh, proportional to linear dimensions. And that's exactly the same reason why land animals can't get too big and why we don't have to worry about things like Godzilla or King Kong. Because, uh, you know, what, what is Godzilla? Like a giant lizard? Well, most lizards aren't that big, right? What's the biggest lizard you've ever seen? I don't think I've ever seen a lizard more than about a foot long, you know, but Godzilla is supposed to be what, like 50 feet long or 100 feet long? Well, guess what? If Godzilla existed, he'd have a hundred times as much weight uh, to deal with. So he'd have a pretty tough time getting around. Uh, I mean, it's true that there were big, huge dinosaurs in the past. I don't know how they got to be so huge, but at least today we don't have to worry about anything like that. Uh... And, um, you know, it's also the reason why insects, you know, I remember when I first learned this, I learned this in grade school, I learned that a flea can jump over 100 times uh, its height. And uh, I even, uh, I even uh, read about this, I think when I was like sixth or seventh grade, they said, uh, you know, that would be equivalent to a man being able to jump over the Washington Monument. I was pretty amazed when I read this, but it was a very, very bad comparison because you know, because of the square cube law, it should be no surprise that fleas can jump high because they have more strength per, you know, they don't have so much weight to worry about, you know. Uh, they can easily jump. As a matter of fact, you can calculate this. Um, the, the height that an animal can jump is, is a constant, roughly. I mean, I guess a flea can jump 5.2 inches. Maybe humans can jump a little higher than that, but... But, you know, uh, for the most part, the height at which different size animals can jump, and this is a consequence of the square cube law, it's approximately constant. So it shouldn't surprise you that a flea can jump 5.2 inches. And, and it also shouldn't surprise you that, you know, these little, tiny little insects like a dung beetle can push around a huge piece of dung that's a lot bigger than itself. And, I think there's animal the insects that can do even more remarkable things. I think there's certain types of worker insects that can carry around these big pieces of wood that are much bigger than themselves. And that's another consequence of the square cube law. And it also shouldn't surprise you too much that, you know, that, that there's a lot of flying insects because they're so small 
as long as they have wings, you know, they, they shouldn't have any problem being able to fly. And, uh, you know, um, so you have to take all this stuff into consideration. Uh, you know, there's a lot of advantages to being small in, in the animal kingdom, you know. And uh, anyway, that, that's my talk. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Long live math, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.